Welcome back to another episode of Toon Talk TV, the hottest animation podcast on YouTube right now. And if you want to watch three creators wrestle over a Milky Way, then this is the podcast for you. Give me you. that fucking Milky Way, dude. <laughs> <laughs> you can have it. Uh, we're, 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 back, we're back with another episode. Today we're chatting about Bug Bombed. <laughs> And Bob has all the deets on it. Bob, let's kick it off. Ooh, this was a good one. This was a, a juicy boy. that was boy. a jam at the beginning of that one, Can dude. you keep singing it? Oh, yeah, dude. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, Bug Bombed was made by Milk Rug Animations. And... This is going to blow your minds if you didn't already know this, but that was their first animated film or pilot. What? Isn't that isn't that crazy? That's that's over that's that an overachievement nuts. for <laughs> first. Yeah, they worked they worked way too hard, dude. You got to put you're supposed to put out some crap first and then put out something amazing, but they just skipped all that and put out something fucking sweet. Um so on their uh, on their YouTube page, which we will link in the description, uh, Milk Rug Animations. They also they have one small animation in front of that called uh, Fat Cat and Cave Bat, and uh, and you can you can see a small snip of that on the TV um, in Bug Bomb. So you could tell that they're they're alluding back to that and it all, that one also says pilot so i'm i wonder if they're going to continue with those characters later on um but milk and rug animation is made up of a few artists um i'm i'm probably going to butcher their names uh <laughs> so it's s z y m o n simon simon quinto jimmy sawyer and Aris Kolarotakis. Spit Jesus it out. It's hard. Out Those are hard to dude. say. Those are hard to say. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I don't know if I'm just putting too many syllables in that. Um, but uh, this, this, what did you guys think of this one? This was amazing. I, I, I thought um, just the art alone blew me away on this one. Uh, Fred, do you mind if I take this yeah, first one? Yeah, go for it. First, I'm going to apologize to the creators for my uh, C-nautical friend butchering all those names. Hey, but you try it. You try it. I, 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 uh, You're not, dude, not even going to try. I, I wouldn't do That's them what justice. I thought. That's dude. what I thought. Um, I thought that this was a, for, for the basic premise that it was. Uh, of a house just getting fumigated at its core. That's that was the the nature of the episode. I thought it was very well done. The story from a writer's perspective, the it was it moved. There was beats. It kept kept me hooked the entire time. Um, Bob, I think you hit it on the head. Just from the art alone, it it was it was great. Uh, Fred, what about you? Yeah, Eggman and BC were were. <laughs> Two good characters to start out with. I don't even know why. We have a clown and an egg in a world filled with a bunch of bugs. But uh, it was it was good character design. And then even with, uh, man, I love those cut two shots of the hyper realistic shots. They do this in your show, don't, don't they, Bob? Oh, with the I love when they do these. With, they're called and, uh, they're Ren, called gross Ren up scenes. Simpy. Gross, gross up, up scenes. Gross well, up dude, scenes. I don't know if that would... Give me some gross ups. I love gross ups. <laughs> they they called it this in their credits. I'm not sure if that was an already named thing, but uh, it's a good name for it. Gross up scenes. Um, so that all three of those are have artist page... All three of those creators have artist pages of their own, and they're all equally awesome in different ways. Um Simon has a very cool online shop that we will put uh, in the link in the description uh, where he makes some very cool merchandise, uh, a lot of shirts, a lot of um, pants, like sweatpants. Um, what, it, of like cartoon characters on it and shit? You, you or gotta, what is it? You got to check it out. It's, it, it, it's weird how you can see all of, all of their, uh, their styles coming together as one in Bug Bombed, but... I can't. None of them look 
like they were the main like it looked like they seriously blended yeah, all yeah, the yeah. styles to make bug bombed cool it's not cool. one it's not one of them over the other it's like a, a nice mixture so uh it's not quite the cartoon characters that you see in bug bomb but it's an art of his own and uh it's it's definitely it's really cool i even saw a um he had a uh, a deck of cards i didn't see it available for to buy in his shop but they looked amazing. They just very creative, cool stuff to check out. Um, Jimmy Sawyer and uh, Aris uh, also had artist pages. I, I'm I didn't find a shop. I could be wrong though. Check out their their Instagram handles, which we'll leave in the uh, a link in the description. Um, and maybe you maybe you'll find the link to their shop. Um, but so you in in I could definitely tell that these were artists first. Show creators second, at least in in what from what I seen from their their pages, and I can tell that very much through this animation. Uh, I thought we uh, we we've been talking about pilots lately, and I find it yeah. interesting that they called this pilot "Bug Bombed," and the and the premise was you know the fumigation of a house. I really yeah. wonder how they can continue going with that premise if this is a series uh so at yeah. that fight scene um where they get dropped into uh the bug roids was that did they end off were they still bugs no. at the end no that was all in oh, there okay. all, all right because they could have just well, kept well, them now i'm spoiling stuff just kept all them. the fumes. I'm spoiling stuff no. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no it's dude just they should have watched you should have watched it watched oh, well the bug this is a episode. podcast yeah yeah dude yeah um but yeah, um, but no, yeah, it was all in there. It was just all the fumes. Yeah, um, and then another fucking awesome fight scene at the end with, uh, uh, and I lo- I liked the, uh, an egg bomb coming out or the bomb coming out of the eggs, ass the as butt. like a <laughs> as a gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it was, it was very cool. I even saw on I think it was Jimmy Sawyer's page, um. It looked like a first uh, character design of Eggman in BC, and Eggman was not an egg. It was a totally different drawing of someone else. So uh, you could tell that this was a project that uh, had a lot of changes from start to finish. And uh, also on on their on the uh, Milk Rug Animation Instagram page, you can see. They, that they went as far as making a 3D design of that living room that uh, that you find them in in the beginning, just to make sure that they keep everything the same, same uh, splats on the wall, same paintings, same placement of the couch, same dirty way that they left the the yeah. uh, you know everything hanging out in the room. Uh, so I, I think these these guys are overachievers, and we're definitely going to see a lot of a uh, <laughs> lot more cool animations from them. So I think it's very. Or go ahead, Fred. So I I thought that that intro that jam was so um, necessary for this. It it I when I think of that. I, it immediately goes right to that tune. And I feel like a, a lot of old mm-hmm. cartoons used to do that for me where like you think of the jingle and then it comes like, that's that cartoon have. Yeah. Um, what, how do you guys, that man, the yeah. animated series, yeah, exactly. Like instantly you hear the trumpets, everything. I instantly know what cartoon that is. Should we do this for some of our tunes, dude? Maybe we should make some jingles, you know, some jams, We're fucking musicians. Yeah. I think that's I think that's one of we are the televisions. Uh, uh, if I critique them, I think that that's one of their biggest downfalls of taking on everything. I if I'm being <laughs> honest, um, we're, I'm going to give this guy props uh, when because we keep talking about it. It was Rowan Matthews. Rowan the... Matthews. Rowan. Uh, Rowan Matthews. Their uh, their handle is at Mantooth underscore uk um 
I think it's good to to focus on what some artists do best and bring them in for the collaboration to make something awesome. It's hard. It's hard to make. So you don't think you can make a jingle? Oh, you're I know I can make an amazing make jingle. jingle. I know so why, I can make an amazing. So jingle. you're saying you I'm talking would rather about, pay someone? No, I'm just saying sometimes the time constraints. Like, uh, it, it, if I if we get if we gave ourselves you know a few years. You, you, we can make a whole album of jams like this and then pick our favorite one and put it on top of the cartoon that it also took a few years to make, you know, okay, I mean, so question, you got to you. take, pick your battles. So wait, you would make these as like a batch of jingles and then throw one on top <laughs> or wouldn't you want to see the cartoon before so you make the jingle? So you're telling me you're going to crap out something amazing. First jingle. You're just going to sit down and, and blast out. Something I didn't amazing. say that. So, no, no, no. I but didn't that's say what that. you'd Listen have to, to the question. Expect. Listen to the question. You you said you would make a batch of jingles, and then after having that batch, put them on new cartoons. Wouldn't you want to see the character design, the story before developing a jingle? No, that's not what I meant. I I meant make a batch of options for that jingle and and pick the one that is best. Works best. Okay. All right. I, on the other hand, would just take already written music and find which song works best for that I, cartoon. I like that idea. I like that. <laughs> um, the last, I mean, like before before we close out, initial thoughts, uh, final thoughts. I'm going to say this was a very interesting take on taking two characters that me personally would never see, a clown and an egg, putting them in a room basically and seeing what unfolds and i think it's a real test to not only animators but story creators like you some people would instantly be turned off like it's a clown and an egg like next but they really made it work that they, they both characters vibed with each other had like that super jail feel connection and uh, i thought it was great final thoughts bob and fred well done Amazing. i thought it, yeah i thought it was a great cartoon go check it out good shit yeah go check it out um Again, Toon Talk TV, thank you guys for showing up for the show. Uh, if you liked it, like, follow, and subscribe. Check out our Patreon, patreon.com slash wearethetelevision. There's some sweet, sweet behind-the-scenes gear and merch on that Patreon. Go check it out, and you will find us here next week. Ha, 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 ha.